Dimensioning long objects. When we have long objects that are consistent in, in their shape, and what we want to do is it wouldn't fit on the sheet if we drew them the full length. So we cut a hunk out and we remove a portion of that long constant shape object. When we cut a hunk out, that's called a conventional break or to break it. In this example here, I have a solid cylindrical break. So this tells me this is a solid piece of round. And we have tubular cylindrical breaks and we have rectangular breaks as well. So we just take a hunk out and we shorten both ends left and right down. Now, we end up putting what's called a dim jog line in here. And here's a dim jog line in. So let's take a look at how to create that. I'm going to erase it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a linear dimension. And I'm going to pick points on the end point and on the end point. And I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to place it. You can see right off the bat that it is not the correct length. It's supposed to be 60, but since we shortened it, it's not. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to pull this width apart so I can see it a little better. And you can see here that my measured distance is actually not 60. So I'm going to erase that and I'm going to type in 60.0. All right. And then I'm going to close the text editor. And so now I know it's 60. But to put the dim jog line in, and the dim jog line basically tells us, hey, you know, this is the actual measurement. We're going to go up and we're going to find the dim jog line. Now, if I go up into my annotation and go into my dimensions panel here, um, you'll go up into the upper right hand corner and it says dim jog line. All right, and it indicates that there's a break in a dimension line. I select the dimension, I can select it anywhere on the dimension I want. I'll pick way over here, and then it says specify the dim location. And I'm going to pick, I like to pick after the item. I'll pick, and it placed then my dim jog line in my object. So I ended up with the dim jog line symbol right here in my uh, object that has a conventional break in it. And this particular break is a solid cylindrical break.